Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another edition of the most consistent, prolific, and dedicated uploads in YouTube history. This is Sean's U Entertainment right here on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video and subscribe with a major backstage update as concerns. Once Daniel Bryan becomes the WWE World Heavyweight Champion, how the WWE will act accordingly, how they will handle Daniel Bryan as the WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, although anything can happen in WWE, and that's as the old saying goes, it was rumored that WWE was on the fence as it concerns Daniel Bryan becoming the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion at WrestleMania 30. But there is speculation a plan would see Bryan win the championship and go on a test run, a trial of sorts, to see how fans respond to it as it concerns ticket sales, raw ratings, as well as his merchandise sales. There is a feeling that if the ratings continue to decline with Daniel Bryan as WWE World Heavyweight Champion, look for Bryan to lose the WWE World Heavyweight Championship and be a transitional champion. However, WWE is hoping that with the amount of support that Daniel Bryan gets, night in and night out arenas all over the world translate in, in, into, into ratings and ticket sales for Daniel Bryan. At this point, WWE does not understand why the same people who give Brian such a thunderous response are not tuning in to support him each and every week and garner him the highest ratings above Cena, above the Ortons, you know, above caliber superstars like that, above CM Punk when he was there. Ultimately, it will be up to the diehard Daniel Bryan fans whether or not Bryan will remain WWE World Heavyweight Champion for a lengthy amount of time. And that's the thing. Every night, Daniel Bryan gets the best response. You know, it's pretty much 100% the solid behind him, but yet that does not translate into merchandise sales. That does not translate into pay-per-view buy rates. That's not, that does not translate into ratings. You can blame the product. You can say it's piss-poor rating. You can blame it on creative. But the fact is you're still tuning in. You're still watching. You're still watching Daniel Bryan's matches. You're still watching his segments, but not to the degree that you're supposed to be watching them. You know, Daniel Bryan didn't have an opportunity to showcase you know, what he had as a champion back in September because he got stripped of the championship the night after. So Daniel Bryan didn't get an opportunity to run with the ball, but now that the WWE is seemingly, seemingly going to give Daniel Bryan that opportunity, you got to wonder how is the WWE going to handle this? Is this going to happen? Is it, is, are they going to give him like a month or two months to see how the ratings are? You know, the ratings have been declining. You know, the last Monday Night Raw saw a, a, a significant decline, and that's not a good thing on the road to WrestleMania. So, you know, I just hope that Daniel Bryan's momentum and the chance and the people that support him can do the same by tuning into Monday Night Raw each and every week instead of your laptop and your cell phones. Why don't you watch it on the television and give Daniel Bryan, give your boy the ratings that he so rightfully deserves? Because you see, if you people that support and love Daniel Bryan, all you people that follow Daniel Bryan and you live through him, you would think that if he got the amount of support that he does in the arenas, you would think that he would give him that same support in ratings, but that just isn't happening. Subscribe.